Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Reese and welcome back to another spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, you already know this will be general. So take what resonates and if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? If you guys need a personal reading information, it's down below in the description box. Check the community board for any specials that I'm running on private readings as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and tap in. And let's see what spirit got for y'all, right? All right, spirit. <clears throat> what do you have for my beautiful Devon Feminine? Realizing your potential is here. First part out. Spirit, what else for my beautiful Devon Feminine? Your life is improving. Okay, whoever you are, you're definitely betting on yourself. It's like you're betting on yourself. I also feel like you could be taking risk as well, stepping out on faith with something that you're doing. And I feel like this is also pushing you in the direction of like literally getting everything you've ever wanted. Your life is improving. Spirit, what else? Trusting your potential is here. And for someone specifically, it's like you are realizing how much potential you actually have. Like literally understanding your power, understanding the amount of things that you can achieve in this world. You're also not limiting yourself anymore as well. So it's very important to trust in your potential, trust in yourself, believe in yourself. Spirit, what else for my beautiful divine feminine? Because for whoever you are, it's like you know you can do something. But you could be second guessing yourself. You could be very good at whatever this is. But it's like you're letting too many things get in the way. Like fear. Oh, what if I don't get enough um, clients? What if I don't get enough people to buy my products it's it's always this but somewhere in there what if i fail like what if you win what if you sell out those are the type of things that you need to be asking yourself spirit what else for my beautiful divine feminine what else financial stability is here financial stability so you're going to have way more than enough money than you need more than enough spirit what else it's all working out for you divine feminine okay everything is working out for you even if it seems like things could be going in a different way than you may have imagined it's still all working out for you. We also got I'm done wasting time. 333 on the clock. And this is definitely your energy very strongly here. Because like I said, you could be good at something or have been wanting to do something for a long time. Anything around your potential and believing in yourself. But it was always things in your way or you allow these excuses to get in the way. But I feel like you're done wasting time, not only with that, but just with anything. If something's not making you happy, if something's not improving your life or helping your life grow or helping you grow in any type of way, you're done with that. You're just done wasting time. We also have spending time alone here as well, which is very, very important, um, Devon Feminine. You could be spending a lot of time alone or needing to spend time alone. And during this is when you're actually discovering different things about yourself as well. So you could be single at this time. Don't have to be, but you could be. Spirit, what else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? All right. So we have no one can stop you. 
And we also have Don't Go Back to Your Past, okay? And this has been coming out a lot these past few readings, okay? Because my Divine Feminines, whether you are a man or a woman on my... I don't know how many times I got to say that. Even if I'm saying girl, I'm not going to switch it up and be like, girl, bro. Like, I'm not doing that. So you need to put your gender where it goes. So I had a couple people comment that yesterday. And it's... I'm not going to keep repeating myself. But anyways, whoever you are, don't matter if you're a man or a woman, divine feminine, do not go back to your past. Okay, especially once you start to see your life improving without these certain things or people around you, don't go back. No one can stop you. That's why it's very important to believe in yourself. As long as you have the vision, that's really all you need to just believe, okay? Because a lot of people are not going to see your vision because it wasn't given to them, okay? They're just looking at the 3D surface. Look at a lot of successful people around you, where they are today and where they are, or where they were before. A lot of them was just doing regular, you know, regular old things, nine to five. Some of them was broke. Some of them, you know, didn't have nothing, didn't come from nothing. Then you look at them, Five, 10 years later, they're multimillionaires. They're riding around in their dream cars, living in their dream homes. Like people counted them out too, whether they're famous or not. That's why it's always important to bet on yourself. Even when people try to doubt you and knock you down. For example, myself, the situation I'm going through, what if I've been like, well, I need to wait until I get all the way situated for, before I can start posting videos, before I can start doing this. Do you know how behind I would be? Do you know, like, my channel has actually grown even more since I've been going through what I've been going through. It's because I push through. It's because I bet on myself. It's because I know who I am. You look up this time next year, I'm going to be at 100K subscribers financially stable, off, doing well, doing good. I could even be further than that. But I'm just saying you have to realize the vision that God gave you. It don't matter what nobody else got to say because they can't stop it. They cannot stop you. They cannot stop what God has for you. They don't have that much power, okay? So it's very important to trust in your potential. Trust in what it is that God is asking you and wanting you to do. Trust in your your vision. Trust in everything like that has to do with you. And worry about what nobody else got to do or what nobody else is saying. This is for you because God gave this vision to you. So don't let it stop you. I don't care if you're working at McDonald's today. You could be working in corporate sometime next year. You could have your own business booming by this time next year. This could literally happen at any time. I'm just using it as an example, as a reference. Spirit, what else for my beautiful divine feminine spirit? What else for my beautiful divine feminine? What I just told y'all, luxury lifestyle, right up under financial stability. That's why I said you're going to have way more than enough money. That's going to be the last thing <laughs> on your list to worry about is money. You're going to be living a luxurious lifestyle. And it's like I said, it's all because you betting on yourself and you're realizing your potential. I don't care if you run around in a Honda right now. By this time next year, you might be in your dream car, riding a G wagon, riding in a um Land Range Rover. I was gonna say Land Rover. <laughs> you can be whatever it is. You get what I'm saying? But it's like don't count yourself out. Don't ever count yourself out because nobody else not counting you in. They just can't count. That's on them. 
But if you know that God gave you a vision, you close your eyes right now. And you see the vision that God has gave for, gave for you and gave to you. That's all you need. Because this luxury lifestyle is coming and nobody can stop this. The only person that can stop you is you. That's it. Spirit, what else for my beautiful to my feminines? We got shopping here. And we also got honeymoon. Look at you, Divine Feminine. Okay. For some of you, you're going to be shopping for not just clothes. You're going to be shopping for cars. You're going to be shopping for business buildings. You know what I'm saying? Going corporate on. Okay. You're going to be out here. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, this is what I'm, I'm seeing it now in my head. You're going to be shopping for your new home. You, you're just shopping, shopping, shopping. Like, you might even love to shop, like, <laughs> 11, 11 on the clock, but this is the type of life you're living. And that's why it's so important not to go back to your past. Once you, once you get to this level, why would you want to go back to the past? I don't care who left you. I don't care who stopped talking to you, who started acting funny towards you. You have to let that go. Okay. And for some of you guys, this is actually a physical honeymoon that you will be going on. And for some of you guys, it's like you are getting in the honeymoon stage of your life, if that makes sense. The part where it starts to get good. You know what I'm saying? The part where it's like, oh my gosh, like you're receiving everything. The milk and the honey, baby. But you are the only one that can stop you. And that's what you have to realize. Nobody can stop you. Nobody on this earth has that much power. You have to tell yourself and speak that into yourself. I am powerful. I can do whatever I put my mind to. I can do whatever I want. I can achieve whatever I want. I believe in myself. I know my potential. I know my worth. I know who I am. Okay? Spirit, any last messages for my beautiful divine feminine? All right. So we got a new home here. And what did I just tell y'all? Some of y'all was going to be shopping for. Some of y'all about to be living in a totally different area than where you're living at now. Okay, you could be moving out of state. I don't know. But stop limiting yourself. No more limitations. That's what you need to start telling yourself. There are no limitations on my life. I don't know what limits are. <laughs> like, don't even put that in your vocabulary. You need to trust in your potential. Even if you out here, for example, you looking for a job, or you could already be at one job, say you're making like $15 an hour, or you're looking for at jobs, one is paying $15 an hour, the other one is paying $25 an hour, but you looking at that $25 an hour and the criteria and all of the things that come with it and like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know. I just, I don't believe I can do this. It's like, why would you go for a job that's paying 15 instead of 25? Believe in yourself. Go for that. At least you know you went for it, even if it does not work out for you. Trust in yourself. Believe in yourself. And really, that's all you need. Because when you're getting ready to walk into these rooms, these big buildings, the same people that hired, um, that fired you are going to be wanting to hire you again. The same people that fired you, you're going to be buying buildings. You get what I'm saying? It's like they closed the doors in your face. And now you're, you're getting so many doors opened up for you. But guess what? These doors won't be opening up for you if you were never lost that job, if you were never um, got left by that person. You get what I'm saying? Like if that relationship would never went the way it went, you wouldn't even be where you are today. So you have to be grateful for each and every experience and just know that this is your life. This is your reality. You direct it the way you want it to go. 
despite the circumstances, these 3D circumstances, they're not real. <laughs> you have to get into the mindset of knowing you can do whatever, have whatever, and manifest whatever it is you want. Okay, you are ready for this. It's no more second guessing yourself. It's no more wasting time. You are ready now, right now. Okay, so it's very, very important for you to control your thoughts, control your words, control your emotions. Girl, I feel like I'm over here preaching. <laughs> Look at this at the bottom of the deck. Soft life era. This is you, Divine Feminine. It's time, okay? It's time for you to live this soft life. It's time for you to be living in luxury. I don't care what nobody got to say about it. Talk to the hand. <laughs> okay? But anyways, Divine Feminine, that's what I got for you. You are ready for this. I'm so excited for you. Get excited. Get excited. It's time now, okay? Don't count yourself out ever, ever, ever. Don't ever play with her ever <laughs> don't play with her all right spirit <sighs> okay cool i was just making sure i can end the reading but anyways that's what i got for y'all all right <laughs> yeah i already know what to do if it resonated hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminine so we can keep healing growing and glowing and i'll see y'all in my next one god bless mm -hmm.